following this project for years and the archaeologists are about three weeks into this year's dig so I've been really excited about coming here to find out how they've been getting on. Nick Ashton of the British Museum is leading the excavation. And what sort of evidence are you finding in these, in these ancient river sediments? Well, we're getting pollen from these fine grained sediments, we're getting wood, we're getting other plant remains, little seeds. Uh, also getting beetles and they're very good for reconstructing climate. And on top of that we're getting animal remains, animal bones um, and teeth and they really help with the dating of the site. To retrieve that evidence every bucket load excavated must be painstakingly examined. But sometimes it's the most unlikely finds that provide vital clues. All oh, right, and there it's quite a weathered but surviving pine cone. Really? Or well, part of one, yeah. You could look at the structure of that and confirm the exact species. So that would be fantastic evidence for the types of vegetation around yeah, here. Yeah, it's telling you about the surrounding woodland, you know, which is predominantly coniferous. Find by find, the archaeologists can reconstruct this mysterious lost world. A pine forest that was inhabited by creatures no longer seen in Britain. Simon Parfit from the Natural History Museum is an expert on prehistoric mammals. And what's that in that box down okay, there? Okay, this, this thing is, is It looks incredible. like a stone. <laughs> it looks like a stone. Um, believe it or not, it's a hyena dropping. This is fossilised <laughs> hyena poo. So we know there were hyena here, isn't there? There are hyenas, so you've got large carnivores. We've got this fantastic jaw uh, with some of the teeth. And this is an extinct beaver-like rodents living along the banks of the river. It's such a beautifully preserved fossil. I mean, mm. you, can, you can even see the the architecture of the bone inside the jaw there. Yes, yeah, it's a wonderful thing. There are finds suggesting humans could have lived here then too. Actually today we recovered one of the rare artifacts that we're also getting from the site and this is really exciting because it shows that humans were living here at that time. This is just coming today. This is a small flake, it's slightly broken and but you can see all the tell tell signs of human manufacture. This tiny object is a waste flake left over from making flint tools. So this is evidence of humans in Britain going back possibly a million years. Yeah, and so it makes it by a long way the oldest site in Northern Europe, the oldest human site in Northern Europe. So I'm holding in my hands a piece of evidence of the earliest humans to inhabit this island going back nearly a million years. 